Hi, my name is Meira Schneider Attic, and I am here to teach you how to look good within Jewish law. One aspect of that is hair covering for married women, and one aspect of that is mitpachot because they have become so popular and so versatile. Now, one thing that I love about it is that you can pretty much ask anyone you want where they got it or how they did it. That is how I learned some of my favorite scarf ties. Now, right now, I'm about to demonstrate a scarf tie that I learned from Andrea, co-founder of Rapunzel.com. She herself demonstrated this in one of her YouTube videos. I am demonstrating it in my series because I feel that it fits in with the theme of how to look your best in mitpachot. This is the zigzag wrap, and it's called that because it does, in fact, come off looking like a zigzag. You start by getting volume in the back, preferably high up towards the crown. If you own a volumizer, now is a good time to use it. If your hair is long enough, try and get it into a high bun or a high loop with a scrunchie. I did a high loop with a scrunchie. Then I put on my no slip headband. Honestly, I can't think of any real trick to make scarves stay on your head without the help of a no slip band and this thing is a lifesaver. Honestly, this particular wrap, the zigzag wrap, looks so much more complicated than it actually is. The hardest part of this wrap is draping the scarves correctly and evenly. Once you have them draped on your head evenly and correctly, the rest is easy. Once you've gotten your hair up and you've got the no slip band on, what you do is you take the first scarf and you drape it diagonally over your head, but with the ends hanging even. You notice the diagonal line. One ear is covered, the other ear is exposed. That's on purpose. Then I take my second scarf and again, I drape it diagonally, diagonally over my head, but this time in the opposite direction, so that I get sort of a zigzag, sort of a uh, crisscross effect. And again, I make sure that the ends are hanging even. And then I tie it once underneath the first scarf. Now one thing to keep in mind about doing the scarf tie is that the two scarves you use have to be the same length, the same width, and the same fabric weight. If one is heavier than the other, it's not going to work. It's going to really come off uneven. And it's better if they're longer because longer gives you more room to work with them. What you do is you take the ends of your scarves and you bring them over to the side so that one color, the color of the first scarf is hanging on the same side as the, as the part that's showing and the other color is hanging on this side. You take one of the hanging ends and you bring it over your head in a diagonal motion and then hold it there. You can use one hand to do that. Then you take your other and, and again, you bring it across your head to create the zigzag. Next, you take your other end and bring it across. Again, you want to create that zigzag. Then you hold the pieces there and you bring the final end over. Now, once you've brought them over, you're left with these ends. Now because these scarves are both long enough, all you have to do is tie them in the back. And you don't need to tie them more than once. Just make sure though that you tuck the ends in. It just looks it just looks neater that way. And there you have it. The zigzag wrap. Now, I particularly like this wrap because not only does it leave you with it leaves you with no hanging ends, which is seriously flattering, and it also gives you height on top, which you absolutely need. But the zigzag effect makes it particularly flattering for those of you out there with long, with heart, with 
sorry, with round faces because it really adds to the elongation effect. So it helps counterbalance the roundness. If you happen to have a long face, you might, you can still try this, but you might not like it as much. Anyway, don't be afraid to ask people for help with your mitpachot, and don't be afraid to try out new and different things with your mitpachot because you never know what you're going to get, and don't ever be afraid to look awesome.